Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about inverse trigonometric functions. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Since find the exact value of y. There's a part A and then there's a part B. So, let me do something. Is if I know, I cannot. So, the first thing I will do is I will reduce the size of the font so that I can. Move this a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so solution. Part A. Y is equal to cosine of sine inverse minus 1 over 5. So as you know, Sine inverse minus 1 over 5 is an angle we are talking about. So, if it is sine, sine is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So, if the opposite side is minus 1, this one, and the hypotenuse, this being the right angle, is 5 over here. So, this is the angle we are talking about. So this reduces to y equal to cosine and sine inverse is the angle. So it's cosine of theta. Now, cosine of theta. Now we know cosine of theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Okay, we know the hypotenuse, but we do not know the adjacent side. We also know 5 square is equal to, by Pythagorean theorem, minus 1 square plus if this uh, adjacent side I call A, A square. So 25 is equal to 1 plus A square. Okay. And now subtract 1 on both sides. So A square is equal to 24 and A is square root of 24. So cosine of theta, which is adjacent by hypotenuse, is square root of 24 divided by 5. That is the answer for part A. Square root of 24 by 5 answer. Okay, now we will do part B. Y is equal to sine inverse tangent of tangent of inverse. So again, this is an angle, 7 over 2. So remember the definition of tangent. Okay, so is opposite side by adjacent side. So... Um, so let me make this a little bigger. So if this is the angle, uh, let's call this phi. And then the so so tangent inverse seven over two. Is, let's call it angle phi. Okay, and so <clears throat> tangent inverse seven over two is angle phi, okay? 
So this is actually, I made a mistake here. This should be sign. Let's see if I can get the. Here's this. So sign of phi is what we are uh, trying to find out. Now tangent is opposite side. So if I'm now back on the screen. So this is 7 and this is 2. So we, sine of phi. So y is sine of phi. Okay. So a sine, as you know, sine of pi is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Okay, so <clears throat> what is the hypotenuse? So let's call that B is the hypotenuse because this is the right angle. So B square is equal to 7 square plus 2 square. So B square is equal to 49 plus 4 is equal to 53. So B itself is square root of 53. So this is square root of 53. So Y, which is sine of phi, is opposite is 7 divided by square root of 53. If we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by square root of 53 in the numerator and in the denominator, it becomes 7 square root of 53 in the numerator divided by square root of 53 times square root of 53 is square root of 53 square, which is 53 by itself. So this is the final answer for part B. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as I read the note. Uh, if you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. And stop the share and end.